Hey world! I just got back from a wedding in London, and while I was there I had the opportunity to visit Bletchley Park. It's somewhere I've always wanted to go, and I just happened to have the time while I was there, so I took advantage of it. If you're not familiar with Bletchley Park, that's where Alan Turing and a number of other brilliant people were able to decode messages sent by the Axis powers during the Second World War. And they did it with a, a whole bunch of math using some very cool machines. So, you know, I toured around the park and I saw some of the things. They uh, had some of the cabins set up to show what it was like. There was so much cool stuff there. I didn't really think to film or take photos of much of it. In many ways, this is the birthplace of computers. And I was really excited to get a chance to look around. So most of the photos I have are of the grounds and the Bomba machine here. Although not really a computer, it is a very impressive piece of machinery. What it is essentially is a number of enigmas built into one machine so that you can run a number of possible settings. But next door they have the National Museum of Computing, which I wanted to check out. I heard that they had a working Colossus on display. When I visited, they were having intermittent power issues, so I wasn't actually able to see Colossus booted up and running, which is unfortunate. But, they did have something I wasn't expecting to see that absolutely blew me away. This is the Harwell Decatron computer. It's the only one of its kind in existence. It's the oldest computer you will ever get to use. I'm going to leave you with the sounds of the Harwell Decatron computer. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Overall, the National Museum of Computing has got some pretty crazy stuff, and if you're a fan of computers like I am, I can't recommend enough going to check it out if you're in the neighborhood. Thanks for watching. So long. So just a single so push and it'll... Yeah, press and release. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Okay.